Welcome to Reef and Pond Wise. It's a beautiful afternoon in the hobby. And I'm sitting here looking at these mayflies. So that is the topic of today's video. So let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Now these mayflies, are they friends or are they foes? Well, if you think about it, they're kind of a pest for one simple reason. They're ugly. They fly in these huge swarms around your pond. But they're friends as opposed to foes because if you don't have these flies flying around your pond, you have a polluted pond. This is a great sign, these mayflies, that your pond is absolutely thriving in terms of the ecosystem because they just do not like polluted water. So the females will fly above the surface of the water. They'll drop their eggs. They're also friendly because, unfortunately for them, our koi love to eat the eggs. So they're a good food source as we start progressing into the summertime for your koi. Now these flies love to fly in sunlight. And you can see that the sunlight is what attracts the swarm. Now, if you don't like the look or you don't care for them, uh, the easiest way, from my experience, to get rid of these is to get your sprayer, attach it to your hose, throw on the largest or biggest stream you can get, typically is the jet setting on your sprayer, and spray the swarm. These bugs are so fragile and so small that they'll get killed by the water stream that hits the swarm. Now you gotta be careful because if you kill these off and you have hay fever or you've got allergies, eventually what will happen is the carcasses will dry up uh, in the grass on the rock and you'll end up having the wind blow them um, in the wind uh, when you're out sitting you know, on your deck or around your pond. So you can end up breathing in some of the bad components that these flies give off should you kill them. But uh, it's a great way to understand that your pond is healthy and I, uh, I don't really care for them myself and I will occasionally, depending on the size of the swarm, go ahead and squirt them. But uh, guys, if you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, anybody can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one. And that someone special is you.